Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So before we get into this video, just quickly do the old spill. Um, leave me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below of what you think of this spares project. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Go it done quick. Right, so I'll show you where I've got already because obviously I had to delete some footage because I did have enough space on my phone for everything. So, you've seen some of them and you haven't seen all of them. So, in oh. I just knocked the drills off the table. That was the first one. That was the second one. You can see. So you saw them two videos. That's the third one. As you can see, they went a bit fun in the middle because I started on the out on the edges and worked my way in. So then I learned just to start from the edge and work all the way down. So you can see it went a bit funny, but at a distance it was totally fine. And this is the last one. Just all jazzy designs I've done. So yeah, these are all sealed and ready to go. Um, yeah, so I sealed all these, so they're all done and dusted. I use clear varnish for them. And yeah, and I'm really pleased with how they look. So I honestly, I could not be happy. I couldn't couldn't be more happier with them. Honestly, I think they all look really really nice. As you can see, it's gone. It's now in my living room because it's easier for me to work on the sofa. I find it more comfortable than sitting here. So let's switch to the living room and then I can show you where I've got on. Right, so I've done the top part of the front and I'm just about to do the edge and then I can flip it around and do the bottom front and the bottom edge. So I've done this bit, just all multicolored. I do have like a bag of odds and sods. I don't do this with many of my spares, but if there's like odds and sods and everything, I just whack them in a mixed bag because it's just easier. Um, or like just just random occasionally, I'll just chuck the old color in it just because then I've got when I want to do like multicolored like this. I've got an array of bright colours and dark colours just to keep it all looking all nice and just all different colours really because I didn't want just like all darker colours in it. I just I wanted an array of all different colours, bright and darks and all different colours basically. And then I wanted to go black all around the edge and then it will help this bit to pop and all the drawers will pop out more. It'll take your eye to the drawers a bit more as well. So I've already put the double side tape on. I used two different sizes. I used the uh, one that was that thick, and then my filler roll, and then it literally it fitted the edge perfectly. Absolutely did. So that was really good. And then, so around the edge, I'm going to use three tens are black, and yeah, it should come out. It should look really nice. Um, and then I will be doing the top. I haven't decided I'm going to do the sides yet because no one's going to really see them. So I don't think I am going to bother doing the actual sides because I don't think I just don't see much point if that makes sense because it's just gonna be sat there no one if people see the top and the front but you no one will really see the sides so i don't think i'm going to do the um you know the actual sides just purely because of you know 
Let me put on the light. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? So at the moment we've got like a bit of a storm here in the moment in the UK. It's really windy. We hadn't had no, no rain for like, I think like nearly two weeks. And all of a sudden it's decided to um, rain and just the weather is absolutely and utterly awful. So, it, wind is just terrible out there, it really is. Yeah, oh you can't quite see the black at the moment, it's just literally finishing there. Yeah, so I haven't um, put up, I haven't stuck me, you know, the CDs I've been decorating up outside yet. Because obviously, I was going to do it this week, but the weather's not been very nice. So I will be doing that as soon as we get a nicer day. And that'll be like part two of that series. Um, nearly, 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 nearly. basically and then knocked it all flying well done Gemma um so yeah and I just saw I figured out how I can incorporate the tiles the tiles I bought a little, um, a little while ago and I've been sticking them on like this to incorporate in the pattern I just thought it just add a bit more sparkle or something to it so yeah um I'm really liking how it's coming on so far. So I'll carry on for a bit more and then I can finish this part of this video and then get cracking on with another review basically. So yeah, I am pleased with how it's coming on and I am liking it so far. And we'll see this does take a bit more time because there's a bit more intricate patterns. That's why I've got the four colours laid out so I can easily just getting laid on basically so yeah i was going to be doing a different pattern but i changed my mind 
um, it was like a flower pattern, but I don't know. I just wasn't really liking how it was coming on, so I changed it. Picked off all the. That's why there's a couple of like odd colours up here because I I just wasn't liking how it was coming on, so I was like, nah, I'll do something like I did with the patio table. Just keep working my way in woods because I think that would be it would look quite nice and really colourful and everything else. So I checked my analytics earlier and I can't believe that I'm nearly at 400 subscribers. That is absolutely madness to me. I just can't believe that 400 people have subscribed to my channel nearly. It's just absolutely crazy. I just, you know, when I set out to do this, I was like, right, I'll be so thrilled to get 10 people that actually want to watch my channel and like, I'm nearly at 400 people. And it is absolutely crazy that, you know, nearly 400 people subscribe. And I just, I still can't believe it. It really, really is crazy to me. Like, especially over the last few months, it's just really, really taken off. Like people coming over from Reddit and everything. And then like occasionally I'll post on like some of the Facebook pages and that. And I'll get the odd comments saying, Oh, oh, you have a YouTube channel, don't you? And I watch your videos and it's just so weird. You know, so if you do comment, if I do it all awkward, it's because I don't know how to respond. <laughs> it just it just feels really weird. Like for people to say, oh, I love your channel and everything else. It just, it feels really weird. You know, I just think of myself as just this random person who just makes diamond painting videos basically now. And it is just really, really weird to me that people actually like really enjoy my videos and everything. So, yeah, and I am really enjoying it. There has been, oh, I apologise that I blocked you, but you were just really doing my head in. Always been no negative on the comment section. I had blocks only for commenting because it was just always negative comments. And I'm sorry, but it just... It, it got boring and I was like, do you know what, love, I'm not even going to entertain you anymore. So you can just comment to yourself from now on. Because it was just constant, oh, these videos are boring because you, you do the same picture again and again and again. Well, I do it differently to everybody else because some people like to see and compare the same picture from different sellers and I found that some people have really found it really really helpful you know and yeah if you don't like the same picture being done every time then don't watch it's simple but yeah that that person in the end I was just like do you know what I just can't I was like do you know what I just it's just not worth like stressing over somebody just constantly just hate watching well, they mostly still do hate watch because still do get it was always like one dislike the whole time on each video so but sure that's fine you know you you can hate watch if you want but i just i got bored of the constant negative negativity and i always think if you keep putting negativity out in the world then you know negativity will find you back so and I just like to try and help people use up these spares, you know, and everything else and do diamond paint reviews and other bits and pieces. So, yeah, I just, I got bored of seeing the constant negativity from one person. I was like, do you know what? You know, you don't like me, that's fine. Not everyone's going to like me. And I was like, it's just... Then the constant negative comments just got boring. So I was like, do you know what? There's that block feature. So I just stopped them from commenting on the videos because it just got extremely boring and annoying. And it's just like, do you know what? 
just go away really sorry if that sounds horrible but i was just like nah nah so so i'm gonna leave it here i'm not gonna bother changing the screen back to me and everything so i'm gonna leave it here thank you ever so much for watching um if you haven't already please please subscribe let me know in the comments what you think of my how my beautiful patio patio oh jim get patio table on the brain now of my thingies coming on my chest of drawers top is coming on and please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all in the next video bye guys